I've never done this before and I don't really have any idea what I'm doing, but I thought it would be really interesting to make earrings from the seashells that I found on the beach this past week. I don't really know how this is going to go, but let's do it. So I'm thinking that I should wash them first because they're probably still a little bit sandy. Oh, this guy looks a little creepy. A little creepy guy. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna break it before I even dive into it. But I thought this was really cool because it had that burnt orange stripe on both sides. I think this bowl will fit them all. Oh, come on. Ooh. Yeah, that'll do. Now I'm just gonna fill the bowl up with some water. Just go back out onto the porch and let them soak. I also just, I'm gonna put a little soap in them because I don't know why. I don't have a reason, but it just feels right. I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of these kitchen, kitchen cloths or kitchen towels. Do you say kitchen cloth or kitchen towel? Or do you just say towel? Or do you say rag? Or do you say dish rag? I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to be using this rotary tool set to make holes in the shells so that I can attach hooks or chains or to sand down the shell and make it more smooth. This is my first time using a tool like this, but it doesn't seem like it's too complicated. So I think I'll be good. And then this also has different levels, so top off low medium and it looks like there's a bunch of different heads that you can put on this tool like a sandpaper one a more softer cushion one and then there's actually sharper drill tools that you can use to create holes but while i'm waiting on that to soak for a little bit I'm kind of hungry and I want to mix pasta, so that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, I can definitely tell that the shell got way shinier and the colors are way more vibrant. This week is everything. I'm really looking forward. So these are the shells that I let sit overnight in the soap and water. And also I didn't video this, but I ended up putting a tiny bit of bleach in there as well. And I also just grabbed a bowl of clean water. I have a towel and a toothbrush. I have my rotary set. And then I just came back from the hardware store because I realized that I didn't have a blade to put onto the rotary set. I just had polishing tools and grinding tools, so I figured this would be useful. I read online that it's important to keep your nose and your mouth covered because you don't want to inhale any of the shell particles that you're cutting with because apparently it can make you very sick and possibly you could die. So definitely wear something to cover up your nose and your mouth. I know that that's probably not hard during these times because of COVID, so I'm sure y'all got a mask laying around. So these things here are called collets, the lady at the hardware store told me, and I had to purchase a separate one because I didn't have the right size that was included in the tool set already. So yeah, collets. I've been sawing at it for about 30 seconds and as you can see it started to create a little line. I'm just gonna keep going. I want to make dagger style earrings. I'm trying to cut the shell this way, smooth it out on the edge here, and then make another cut going this way. This is what I got the shell down to. I know it doesn't look like much but I'm gonna put the hole in it now so that I can kind of figure out which part of the shell I still need to shave off. So I'm hoping that it doesn't crack under the pressure because I have a feeling that it just might. It is pretty thin. I 
did it. Now that I have a hole in the shell right here, try to saw off this excess shell so I can create an earring. Midway into shaping the shell, I ended up doing rectangular shapes instead of daggers. Now I'm gonna sand out the edges and make it nice and smooth and a little bit smaller at the top here so that I can make sure that the hook fits into the hole and right on my ear. Came inside to finish off this project because it was getting pretty dark outside and this is what I was left with. The top part of the shell cracked a little bit right there and there but I plan on decorating it with metal gold leaf so I'm thinking that I could possibly cover up those cracks. I tore off a small piece of the gold leaf and I also have Julet in embellishing glue. This will work as the adhesive to stick on to the shell and I also put clear nail polish on the shell to bring out some of those purple colors that were fading from the grinding and the polishing. Well that's a lot. This comes out really fast so I'm just gonna stick it around the border of the shell with my hand and it dries clear so it's okay if it looks a little messy right now. And you see how I just ripped off tiny pieces? I'm just gonna stick it on and see what happens. I'm gonna use these hooks for the earrings. I just got them at a local craft store. I'm pretty sure that you can get them at any craft store. I also have pliers. So I'm gonna open up the little ring here and make it bigger so I can attach it to the show. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.